What is going on everybody? It's your boy RazorGod24 coming back with some NHL 20 online seasons. We are in Division 2 and I'm keeping on going the theme teams. So let's go take a look at this lineup and see what we got. And with this theme team, we are going with the Winnipeg Jets because I'm a Winnipeg boy and proud of it. We got Mark Shifley with current captain Blake Wheeler and Andrew Ladd who was the former first captain of when the Jets came back to Winnipeg. Then we got Dale Howarchuk who was a former captain of Jets 1.0 with Timo Solani and Keith Kachuk. Then we got Paul Stasny who was part of their best playoff run a couple years back and unfortunately went to Vegas because Vegas had more money but that's besides the point with Patrick Laine and Kyle Connor in the third line. And then on the fourth we got a damn good depth center in Andrew Kopp. We got Christian Veselainen, a good young rookie who kind of reminds me of Patrick Laine a little bit, but I think Veselainen is a pretty is pretty good. He can get up to that. He's more of a two-way player than, than Laine is, but that's besides the point. And then we got Evander Kane, the most hated man probably in the Jets history because of the fact that he couldn't pay a dinner and got mad about it, then showed up to pra a practice or a game in a tracksuit, and then what happened? Freaking Dustin Bufflin ends up putting him in the shower. We all know that. It was just terrible. Then we got Josh Morrissey and Jacob Truba paired up. Truba, I'm still calling him a baby because he whined about getting the Bufflin money, then his contract, but obviously he didn't put up the numbers that he wanted to put up because of it. That's his problem. Then Dustin Bufflin, everybody's fan favorite. He just recently said, I'm done playing hockey because I don't want to play anymore and I got injured too many times. You know what? Let him take his money and run with it for all I care. Now we can add up the cap that he had to our budget and then we can get some better players. Lucas Abiza, a decent depth defenseman. And then Tyler Myers and Frederick Olsen. Myers obviously went for more money in Vancouver. I wish he would have stayed in Winnipeg, but that's besides the point. Olsen, again, he's part of 1.0. And then on goaltenders, we got Connor Hellebuck, who just got nominated for the Vesna. Hopefully he gets it this year because he's been screwed over twice already. And his backup, Laurent Brassois, who's honestly one of the best backups besides Tristan Jari on Penguins, but that's besides the point. I don't really care. Let's get into some gameplay, shall we? As you can see, our offense is a 93 overall. Our defense is a 91, and our goaltending is an 85, which is okay. Hopefully, we get to rep those blue, those dark blue little heritage jerseys that we had, those third jerseys, which I believe are the best ones we've had. But yeah, as we're searching, let's get into some gameplay now, shall we? What a way to say welcome back to the Jets by getting a goal as a former captain gets it done. Come on, Howard Chuck, come on. It's amazing. I can't believe the first game that I'm playing and it's against two people at the same time. I mean, if I lose, I get a I get an excuse I get kind of an excuse to say, uh yeah, I played against two guys at the same time, but and Solani ends up putting one past the goaltender. It was a bit of a lucky tip. We'll just see on this replay here. Solani gets it. Off Lungfist's shoulder, and he ended, up, he ended up putting it himself. So I don't give him, I don't blame him. That kind of crap happens to me all the time. Come on, cop, win this draw for me, and I'll love you forever. Thank you. Ooh, Tyler Myers. Now, a lot, now I know you guys are going to look at me and be like, wait a minute. Tyler Myers is a right handed shot. Why is he playing left hand? Why is he playing on the left side? Well, because the Jets were not really known for having a lot of left handed defensemen in their teams whether it was the old Jets or the new Jets they were more famous for having their right-handed shots that's why I put him there oh and Andrew Cobb's gonna go in by himself and put one past him there we go even the fourth line wants to get in on some action come on come on Ooh, vessel line in oh oh I thought vessel line was gonna sneak in there I was wanting cop back door come on Shifley win this draw for me again Thank you. Oh, big buff coming back in a big way with a clapper from the point. Making it four zip. That was beautiful. Shifley win this draw for me real quick. It's already 4-0 and I got two minutes left in the second, in the first period still. Whoop. Gave a big hit. They're going to get a penalty. Whoop. There we go. Two minutes, I'm going to spend the rest of the first minute on the PK. Maybe they can get a goal. Kusela versus... Why is Kyle Connor? I should have fixed these lines up. I don't know why Kyle Connor is taking the draw on the PK. But if he keeps winning them like that, I'll take it. Oh, why did I go for the hit? Oh. 
Vander Kane. Oh, I tried to spin around. Maybe I could keep it, but I didn't. Ooh, Wheeler putting on the body. Putting on the body. One last rush. One last rush. Oh, Kyle Connor wanted to set him up back door and it didn't work. At the end of one though, it is four to nothing. And just like that, that makes it five goals. I didn't get the clip, but I'm gonna show it on the replay. Shifley ended up putting it right through Lungfist's legs. It was perfect and it was nice. I gotta say, that was a nice goal. Comes right into the slot. Boom, right through his legs. Just perfect shot. He's going to lose it. Patty Kane going to lose it. Truba. Oh, Truba. Oh, Truba almost had it. Shifley going to run over. And Kyle Connor with the goal. Perfection. So after all was said and done, after scoring one more goal after that on the power play, I ended up getting a rage quit finally after the puck got sent out of the zone. It was 7 to nothing. I'll show you the last goal on the replay as I scored. It was Kyle Connor. Beautiful goal. It ended up getting from a steal. So Solani with it. Kyle Connor, bang, just puts it up, puts it out there. Here's a better view of it. Solani, bang, on a power play with Kyle Connor. Just how it is. But I'm not going to let you guys down with that one. Let's go into a second game, shall we? Why is he playing the left-handed side? Well, you know why? Because the Jets didn't have a lot of left-handed shots in their career and as he scores on a power play of course of course Sergachev's gonna score on a power play because I have a five minute power play or penalty kill now he's gonna yeah yeah okay we get it you scored whoop de doo it's knocked off the puck Truba hitting Jake DeBrusque Truba to Howard Chuck and that period ends but it's it was a decent period to be honest we had some chances should have buried. Obviously, they he got the one goal, and it's probably gonna show in the replay. Oh, never mind. It's gonna show Bufflin knocking somebody on their butt. Oh, like Kucherov, the how many up team time? Boom! That's what Bufflin was meant for. MT didn't work. Lad gonna give it to Morrissey. Morrissey walk in. Oh, and I'm getting a penalty again because I tried to reach. Oh, and Wheeler goes to the freaking penalty box, but at least it's only for two minutes. But here we go again on the penalty kill. Oh my god, we got Kyle Connor and Kucherov taking the draws on their respective special teams. Ooh, is that Solani? That's Solani? Give it up. There you go. First time he gives it up, and it's on a power play. He gives it up to me. Andrew Cobb coming in. Let me see if I can find him. Nope. Kyle Connor doesn't want it. Oh, but Bufflin wants to lose it. Oh, I know what this guy wants. I'm not getting it. Ooh, Andrew Cobb, let's go. Let's go. You got speed. You got speed on Alexiak. You got speed. You got speed. Ooh, I thought I could pull that. I thought it would go off the post and back in, kind of like Yager, but that didn't work. But that was nice. Kucherov taking the draw against Howardchuk. Obviously, I should win this. Shifley got in the way of Bufflin and his big cannon of a slap shot. Oh. Ooh, he tried to pull it back to him. Come on, Howardchuk. Honestly, Howard Chuck is not the speediest guy, but he can shoot. So I don't see how he's not able to do anything. And he pulls it back door. Right there. Makes it 2-0. Oh, boy. Come on, Shives. Win this draw. Win this draw back. Let me hit this. Nope. Of course not. Don't win the draw against Spezza. It's not like Spezza's young or anything. Spezza's just old. Oh my god, and you got Spezza back door there as well through all the traffic. So now I'm down three. Alright, this is gonna be I knew this was gonna be a challenger, but this is more challenging than I thought it would be. Cop. And of course his pass isn't gonna make it to Kane because the computer is like that. And he goes back door again. Come on, boy. Yes, sir, indeed. Paul Stasny finally putting one in for the boys. I didn't get the end of it because I didn't know what was going to happen, but I'm going to show this replay because he's done this to me a couple times already. Finally. Oh, please show me the replay. There we go. Perfect. Kyle Connor coming in on the left side. Stasny sitting pretty. Perfect. Now that's what I call a good goal. Come on, Liney. Come on, Liney. You can snipe. Oh, how did you miss? You were there. How do you miss? You were right there. It was prime for the taking. Olison, 
Olison can't pass. And he gets Gensel back door. Now we're back down by four, boys. Come on, can we pick it up, please? Boys and girls, we are in for a tough one. This team is tough. Like, he's just getting chances at backdoor plays, and it's five to one, basically. So I just got Barry on chances. And I got shot and I gotta get Shifu to win some draws, because man, he is killing me right now with not winning the draws. Alright, and then after a little debacle, it goes in. Because literally he just sat there and his guy put it in himself. So we're down by three now. Come on, boys. We got this. 16 minutes. Howard Chuck, please win this draw. And I'll love you forever. All right. Never mind. I ain't going to love you no more. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting that. How am I getting a penalty? How? I want to know. How am I getting a penalty? For what? For what? Oh, because he, he went straight into me. This is why NHL 20 is so broken half the time. The, the reaction with the sticks is so broken. If you have your stick even near a guy, they'll trip. And it's not even your fault. Oh, and line A. The glit. Again, see right there. I wasn't even facing him. And he's going to get a power play because he's going to get five on three because Solani wasn't even facing him. Man, that is... That's terrible. This is terrible. Five on three now and I'm down by three. Come on, boys. Sabiza couldn't get in front. There you go, Buff. Take the puck. Give it to Line 8. He's going to get a poke check, but Bufflin's going to go for a skate. Sacrifice to Line A. And Cop, Andrew Cop. Let's get it. That's good. It's 5 3, boys. Let's get it. Oh, oh. Give me that. Oh, Lad was sitting there beautifully. And there we go. Lad's going to sneak that in, boys. Down by one with two minutes left. Let's go. Let's get it. Can we make this happen? Please, let's do this. Oh, Howard Chuck, you didn't win that draw. Get it icing, get it icing, get it icing, get it icing. No icing? Seriously? How? He sent it down. Oh, Bufflin loses it. Gives it to Solani. Solani to Kachuk. Come on, Jets 1.0. Jets 1.0. Oh, it's loose, it's loose. Oh, man, that would have been close. We got 31 seconds, boys. 31 seconds. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Shifley still can't win a draw. But Blake Wheeler can play defense. Oh, Truba. To Wheeler. Wheeler's just... Oh! He's got to give it up. Eight. Seven. Six. Oh. And he gets the back door anyway with three seconds. Well, there's not much I can say about this one, boys. We tried our best. We had a late run, but it didn't work. Fakie, good job, man. You had a lot of luck there, but that's what it takes sometimes. Six to four was the score. Honestly... It was just some bad luck on our part. We should have had some shots and we shouldn't have took some power. We should have took the penalties that we had. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this. Sometimes you got to lose in order to win at times. And sometimes even great players lose. Like, look at Sleeveless. I ended up piecing him up 10 to 4 or something last time. And now I got beat 6 to 4. So, but anyways, thanks for watching. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. This is RazorGuard24. And I'm out.